who founded a movement called the Theater of the Oppressed. Uh, and it was learning about Boal's discoveries and techniques that really first inspired me to begin an ongoing exploration to discover what is the meeting point between human rights and theater. Boal defined oppression in this way. Oppression, according to Boal, is when one person is dominated by the monologue of another with no chance to reply. Boel asks the question, does dialogue really exist or does it never go beyond overlapping monologues? How many times have you found yourself in a situation, you're in a conversation with someone, and they're speaking, and before they're even finished speaking, you have already formulated what you're going to say, and you just say it without listening. You think about these kind of overlapping monologues that are happening between countries, between social classes, different races, uh, multiple monologues like this that are going on in school and education and so on and so forth. So theater of the oppressed is a constant search for dialogical forms of theater through which it's possible to try and have a genuine dialogue. One of Boal's most famous dialogical theater techniques is called forum theater. And this is how it works. The audience is shown a play, a play is performed, with a theme that is instantly recognizable to the audience. It's some kind of uh, pressing social issue or human rights uh, issue that really connects to that community, that city, that country. The main protagonist in the play is clearly oppressed and his oppressor or oppressors are very <coughs> recognizable to the audience. The protagonist makes a series of decisions along the way and the outcome ends very badly for him or her. So the protagonist is and by the way, you can do this play in any kind of genre. It can be done uh, in a stylized way or a naturalistic way. It doesn't matter, but the form of the story, always the structure, always follows the, the same kind of thing. At the end of the play, a kind of facilitator comes on stage and has a little conversation with the audience, asks, for example, did our story have to end this way? Were there any other solutions that the protagonist could have tried where the outcome would have been different? Uh, 
შემდეგ სცენად გამოდის ადამიანი, რომელიც იწყებს უკვე დიალოგს აუდიტორიის, აუდიტორიას და მოსვამს მას კითხვებს იმის შესახებ, თუკად რამდენად სწორი არის ის განვითარება, რომელიც ამ სპექტაკლს ჰქონდა, შესაძლებელი იყო თუ არა ის სხვანაირად დასრულებული იყო და ასე შემდეგ. At the end of the little discussion, what happens is the play begins again from the beginning. But this time, at any point, if anyone in the audience feels that the protagonist could take a different direction, they shout, stop. At that point, the action is stopped. The audience member is invited on stage. They trade places with the protagonist, and they get to act out, try out their solution. That's what I did ten years ago. Right, theater for change. We're going to show a video about that. Um, it is a very exciting and a very dynamic way for people to become actively involved in looking at how to change situations. Through a session of forms theater, many people will take the stage and they'll show all these different possibilities in this way, and the event becomes a kind of theatrical debate in which experiences and ideas are, sh are shared and they're rehearsed, and it generates a kind of feeling of solidarity and empowerment among spectators and <laughs> Suddenly said to me, "Why don't you teach these techniques here in Georgia? We don't have anything happening like this in our theatre." So I trained a group of actors and director and a playwright in this technique, and in 2003, Theatre for Change Georgia was born. Uh, theater for Change was committed to inspiring people to try and take an active role in creating new solutions for enhancing the overall quality of life here in Georgia. Over a six-year period, Theatre for Change Georgia produced many differences about um, very important social and human rights issues, including street children, including um, the Abkhaz War. These were performed on main stages. Uh, here in Tbilisi and in the regions, as well as in community centers and schools all over Georgia. Uh, and the other day I came across, I completely forgotten about it, a DVD that we made in 2003 documenting the first part of the process and I'd like to share it with you now. <laughs> 